Fergus woman who reported being sexually assaulted says the justice system failed her. Today, the man who allegedly raped her walks free after delays in the courtroom that were out of her control. A judge describing the outcome of this case as inexcusable and shameful. In part one of a two-part series, CTVC Jalou takes us through the legal process that has sparked outrage across the province. She joins us live now with more on this story tonight. So, Sija, how exactly did this happen? Alex, the saying goes, justice delayed is justice denied. That's why each one of us has a charter right to a speedy trial. But that same right, meant to protect us, is the reason why a local woman never got the chance to see her alleged attacker's fate decided on the merits of a trial. A warning, the details you're about to hear contain graphic elements of sexual assault that are disturbing. Emily Ager has had to relive the worst day of her life hundreds of times. I don't know how I survived. Ager was living in Toronto when she invited a friend and co-worker to her place for drinks in January of 2022. She went to bed alone around 2 a.m. I woke up about four hours later uh, and the male co-worker was on top of me and inside of me. Despite the shock, Agar found the strength to take all the right steps in the wake of an alleged sexual assault. She called police, went to the hospital, and cooperated with detectives. They also wanted to take some photographs of some of my injuries. I did have bruising, um, but in that moment, that, that was too much. I had become physically ill during the whole process. Roughly 15 months after charges were laid, a three-day trial was set for July 5th, 2023. But when Agar arrived to the Toronto courthouse, she was told there was no space due to a staffing shortage. The detective sat me down and said, there's no room for you right now. Her case wouldn't begin until July 7th. Agar testified and was cross-examined, but the trial couldn't be completed. It was pushed back to November 9th and 10th. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees that everyone charged with a crime has the right to be tried within a reasonable time. For cases in Ontario's provincial court, the limit is 18 months. In Agar's case, the new scheduled dates would cause a trial to stretch beyond 20 months. As a result, charges against Against her alleged attacker were stayed. I fell to the floor and I was like, I don't think I can get back up. I once again felt like that frozen in time girl who couldn't move and couldn't speak. In his decision, Judge Brock Jones said the court closures were avoidable and called the outcome shameful, adding this case should serve as a chilling reminder that this inexcusable state of affairs must never be allowed to happen again. When charges are stayed for delay, real people's lives are affected. I was in so much pain. Now, Agar is dealing with the reality that her case will never go to criminal court again. She has lost all faith in the justice system. I can't even sit here and really call it a justice system because it did not provide that at all for me. In part two of this story, we look at how the attorney general plans to tackle court delays and closures. We also examine how a Jordan application works. This is the process through which charges against the accused were dismissed in Agar's case. That's all coming up tomorrow. Alex. Okay, CTV Jalou joining us live with this story tonight. Thank you for that.